Zef Banda, president and founder of Banda Group International. Correct. Thank you for taking the time no to problem. be with us today. Sure. Um, the topic is advice from an exporter. Okay. So we're ready for the first question. Sure. How did you penetrate the domestic market? Well, when I first started my company, I actually um, started working for an ex-employer. And through that relationship, I had left their employee and started consulting on my own and they actually called me back to help them. So it helped um, having some relationship with my network of people and I left on good terms. So it was it was a good way to, to actually penetrate and start the business. Okay. What was the turning point or trigger to take your business global? Well, I had worked internationally before when I was in the Air Force. I spent four years in Germany traveled all over Europe, um, and then when I worked for a large multinational, um, I worked in Israel. So I've lived and worked internationally before. Um, my first contract, as it turned out, was with an ex-employer of mine in Ireland. And so we, we really started the company as an international company because that's what that was our first contract. Okay. Could I ask what line of business you're sure. in? Sure. We provide technical support services specifically in the in the area of environmental engineering, health and safety, industrial hygiene, and then construction management support services. Okay, thank you. Sure. So how did you decide on which new markets to pursue and how did you penetrate those markets? So a lot of our customers are large, at least on the commercial side, are large multinationals. And, um, and so using our relationships with them, um, domestically, they've asked us to work in other geographies for them. So um, it was an easy way to penetrate an international market because we had an existing relationship. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they say, hey, we need help in Ireland or we need help in Israel or, or China or wherever it happens to be. They're inviting us because of the work that we do domestically uh, to do that work internationally for them. Did that also open like new uh, opportunities oh, in those fields yeah, since absolutely. you were already there? As we were there, we met other people, we met other customers, and so that spawned additional relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, our business started to grow in, in those areas from there. Okay, thank you. What resources did you use to go global? Initially, we really kind of started on our own, and I don't know if that was just by blind faith or, or you know, and, and or the relationships that we had with our customers. So we would ask their advice about certain aspects of doing business in a particular geography. But um, more recently, we've started using MBDA, um, the local center here in Phoenix, as well as the one in um, San Antonio, because they operate the Global Business Center. Mm, okay. Um, so... And what about the Arizona Commerce Authority? Did you we use haven't, them? but I've actually been uh, recently introduced to them. So we're mm -hmm. looking at, um, I've had some initial conversations with them about how, having them help us look at different markets. Okay. What was the economic impact of your global expansion in terms of revenues and number of jobs created? So revenues, I'd say since the beginning of the company, it's been in the tens of millions of dollars. And job creation has probably been in the you know, 30 jobs per, you know, range. But that, that would be from, um, you know, jobs that might we might have going overseas translate to work back here because we need administrative people to, and accounting people to, um, you know, to support those work, those works. So uh, would you say that the job creation is here as well as overseas yes. then? Yes, yes. Well, that's that's a good win-win. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I mean, you know, the more people we put in the field, that drives more support back at the home office. And so, you know, most of our infrastructure is here in, New Me in uh, I'm sorry, in Arizona. We, I say New Mexico because we have an office there, but most of our infrastructure is here in Arizona. So uh, we support our operations globally from here. Okay, thank you. Could you discuss some of the challenges, uh, technical, commercial, competitive that you faced and how did you overcome them? Sure, there's some, there's some um, on the technical side, you know, a lot of what we do, you know, involves regulatory 
uh, compliance. And so, you know, learning the codes and standards and the regulations in the local geographies, that's a challenge. And in some cases, it might not be printed in English. So you mm -hmm. have to get people that are experienced and, and um, able to, um, you know, to understand those languages and read those languages. And in some cases, we pay to have the information. If we don't have somebody that can get us that information, we pay to have that translated. So that's that's a challenge. On the commercial side, we've had some opportunities that we've had to turn down because um, working in a particular country did not lend itself. And, and there was one in particular that we, we didn't work in because we found that uh, the business environment there, while we had a multinational customer that was supporting us, we weren't able to, we weren't, wouldn't have been able to repatriate any money from that mm -hmm. particular country to the U.S. So when we looked at it, it would have been very profitable, but we would have had to sink, uh, you know, a significant amount of investment down there, but without being able to recoup any of that. So mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you have to look at all aspects of business, not just executing the technical work, but what are the insurance and banking risks and, you know, risk to your business overall. Right. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us at this no, time? No, I think the biggest thing for me, and I think the biggest advice that I can give somebody who's contemplating working internationally is, you know, it, it's been, uh, it's, it's, it's a challenge, but it's, it's something that is rewarding, but you have to go into it with your eyes wide open. Um, and, and you also have to go in, as Americans, we tend to go into particular places and, you know, try to do things the American way. And, and our way is not the only way. And so uh, you have to go into a, to a particular country kind of with a, with a sense of understanding. And, you know, you want to understand what the local climate is what the, and understand what the culture is. What are the do's and don'ts in business? And, and just, you know, go in there and try to create relationships because that's a way that I've found that, you know, by doing that, you get advice from people that you might not normally have gotten if you'd gone in kind of pushing your agenda and pushing the American way, if you will. I mean, we're, we're a great country and we do a lot of things very good, but, you know, to work in different countries, you have to go in there, you know, with a little bit of humility. Yes, that sounds like very sound advice. Um, how can a listeners uh, reach you if they have questions well, or they want can, to learn more? They can look at our uh, our email. I mean, they could look at our website, uh, bondagroupintl.com, or they can email me at zeph at bondagroupintl. Okay. Or, and then our, our contact phone numbers are on there as well. All right. So. Well, thank you so much for your time. I do okay. have one more question. Sure if I may. Sure. I understand that there is a big overhaul in all of our um, commercial laws. Mm -hmm. Is that going to affect or impact your business? You're talking about in like in the CCL and all of the... Yeah, it can. It can. I mean, we're still comprehending and looking at what that's going to impact, you know, how that's going to impact mm -hmm. our business. But we anticipate that it'll have some impact. Okay. We just haven't comprehended that fully yet. All right. Okay. Just wondering. Thank sure. you so much for no, your time. Absolutely. Appreciate it. You're welcome.